What's up? First of all, I just want to say thank you to all of you that support me. Hope you learned something in my channel. I intend to grow this channel next year, so stick with me. Or if you don't already, subscribe to this channel down below uh, somewhere. I think it's here somewhere. All right. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Parcel in combination with React in this one. It's going to be a really quick video. Just the last video this year that I'm going to produce for you. Um, and uh, I just want to say thank you again and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hope seeing you next year. So we're going to set up Parcel and also React. And this is going to be quite a minimal configuration. So of course you can do a lot more if you use some special stuff in React. But this will give you the things you need to get started and get up and running. So of course you probably use uh, Create React App and to be honest, it's great. But it can also be useful to create your own configuration sometimes. And Webpack is really great, but Webpack is a little bit more advanced than Parcel if you just want to set up a quick environment for you to work with. And Parcel is also a really quick way to set up, uh, for example, a vanilla JavaScript environment to work with. You just need a couple of minutes to be up and running, to be honest. So yeah, let's get on with it. First, we create a new folder. MKDIR, uh, we call it react-parcel-starter. So we make sure to navigate inside of that one, react-parcel-starter. We can initialize this with npm, npm init and dash y, and that will answer yes to all of the questions. So we don't have to do that. And this will set up a package.json for us, as you can see here. Um, so we're good to go. We can now install the dependencies that we need for this one. And the first thing we can install is, of course, React and React DOM. So npm i react and react dash DOM. All right, so that's everything we need for React. And then we can install our dev dependencies. And that's going to be the parcel bundler and also some Babel config, some plugin. npm i. First, we install the parcel dash bundler. That's, uh, yeah, that's what we need because we're using parcel. So they call the parcel package parcel dash bundler. And then we have some Babel configs. So we have an at Babel forward slash the core, that's Babel, that's the core for Babel. And then we have at Babel forward slash preset dash env. And this one is going to transpile all the ES6 syntax automatically for you. You can read more about it. There's a lot of stuff on the internet about this. Uh, and then we have at Babel forward slash preset dash react. And this is of course the preset for using React with Babel. So this makes sure that we can use React syntax and also use JSX in React. And then there's also one plugin that I like to add to this one, and that's the plugin proposal class properties. And if you're using classes in React, I'm not using it anymore. I'm just using hooks and functional components. But if you are, you'll likely also want to use class properties. I will not go into detail on what class properties is in this tutorial. So you have to look that up yourself because this is just a quick little tip on how to set up parcel. But we'll install that one also if you use classes and class properties. So at Babel forward slash yeah, plugin dash proposal dash class dash properties. And that's all we need. So we wait for it to install. Yeah, everything installed smoothly, and that's great. So we can open up our code editor. Uh, and check out our package.json file. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Yeah, I make it real big here. Great. So we can see that everything installed perfectly here. And that's great. We have our Babel plugin and the presets. We have Parcel and we have React. We have to add one little more thing here because if we're going to use a sync await in your React components, we have to add something that's called browser list. So we do that at the bottom here, browser list. We have a colon and an array and inside of that array we have a string 
and we type in last one Chrome version. And this is going to use the async await in the browser. Otherwise, we have to install some more Babel stuff. But by doing this, we're using the async await in the browser and we don't have to install something else. So save that one. And then we create two new files here. We have the index.html and we have an index.js. So first in the index.html, we're just going to create a very basic HTML file here. So HTML, we have the body, and then we have a div where we want our React app to show up. We have an ID of app. Of course, you can name it to whatever you want. And then also we have to import our script here. So script src, and that's our index.js file here. So dot forward slash index.js. And I think that should be it for that file. And we can go inside of the index.js file and create our start file for React. So inside the index.js file, import React from React. And then we import React DOM from React DOM. All right, then we can just create a very simple component here, call it app. And we give it a div. And uh, yeah, it's working like so. And then we call react dom dot render, and we give it our app component. If you have checked out this in uh, the create react app, when you use that one, you can see that this is the same we're doing here. We're just setting up the start file for react, and we're grabbing. From document get element by ID, we call that div app like so. And we save that file. And then we just have one last thing that we have to do, and that's to create a dot babelrc file. So dot babelrc. And inside of this one, we're going to tell Babel what presets and what plugin to use. So presets. Colon, and we have an array, and we have a string at Babel forward slash preset dash n, and at Babel forward slash preset dash react. So this way we're telling Babel that we want to use these presets, and these are the ones that we installed earlier. All right, one more thing to do, and that's to tell Babel that we want to use the plugin that will use class properties. So plugin, and we have another array, quotes, at Babel, forward slash, plugin dash, proposal, dash, class, dash, properties. All right, and that should be it. So save this file. So let's go back inside of our terminal. And then we just type parcel and the file that we want to start this one with, and that's the index.html. And it will start up our environment, hopefully. Okay, got some little error here. Uh, that one should, of course, be an S also, so plugins, not plugin. Go back here, I'm going to start it up again. Parcel index.html. And here we have it, we have no errors now. So we can go to the local host, colon 1234, that's the default for parcel. And as you can see, yeah, it's working. And make sure that we don't have any console logs. All right, so this is all we have to do to get up and running with React. And actually, if you look at the Create React app, it does a lot of stuff in the background, of course, but the very basic stuff it does is that it uses Babel, so you can use ES6 syntax and JSX and all that stuff, and Babel will transpile it down to JavaScript that all the web browsers will understand. And then it's also set up this uh, dev environment for you, this server that we got from Parcel also. That uh, probably will demystify all of this stuff for you if you don't know how Create React App works. Of course, uh, the main thing is that you have to use Babel to transpile stuff so it works in the browser. And you also bundle it so you can use it and read the JavaScript in the browser. All right, that's it. Hope seeing you next year. This was all from me this year.
Have a great Christmas and a happy new year.